Sim. Okay, you guys. Hello. I am back with another video today, another episode. Hopefully, praying that this records. Um, I'm pretty sure it will, but. <sighs> Hello everybody, today we will be talking about my relationship with my family, I'm so sorry, healed versus unhealed, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right here, hopefully I don't look too crazy, I know it doesn't really matter how I look, but uh, I fixate on it a lot, so yeah, but anyways, um, today I will be talking about you know how well yeah like what i said like how my relationship with my family was healed versus unhealed now i did talk a little bit about this in my last episode but if you haven't seen it um i'll go ahead and like talk about it a little bit here so oh also trigger warnings i'm gonna leave trigger warnings down below and um i, I suggest that you pause and read the trigger warnings before you start this video just because um I don't really know what the trigger warnings would be right now. It would be, let's see. Um, I, I, if you could, can you just please take a second to read the description? Because I know one of the trigger warnings. Um, but I'm not sure if I will talk about that. Not like okay. Well, one of the okay. One of the trigger warnings would be like suicide. But the reason I said I don't know if I'm gonna talk about that because it wasn't really like it wasn't about like my like me being like suicidal. So that's only the reason why. So yeah, and I'm sorry to start the video like that. You know, I know it's a, a lot, and these all these episodes are so much. So I appreciate everyone listening and I, I don't want to make it a very triggering because I just want to help people and I know like hearing certain things it's not going to help people and I am very being very real but also saying a lot of things like just saying it out there and I know it's hard to hear you know so yeah but um we're going to go ahead and start this video but like I said in the other video I talked about um death i talked about like my relationship with death and my relationship with my family because of it so if you don't know if you didn't watch the other video um one of the things that my abuser would say for me to stay quiet was that he would kill me and my whole family so that really affected my relationship with my family because you know i just i i remember like as a child and then as an, a teenager and then like at, like a little bit as an adult I remember just like only like loving like one member of my family member and then all the other members like I would like be so happy that I didn't have any feelings for them because I would like push them away close them off and I would just try to like I don't know I just didn't want to get attached to, to them because the way that I would think was like okay it's fine because if they pass away like it wouldn't hurt me that much which is not good but I was just on kind of survival mode and you know it's what was programmed into me and that fear and you know I was obviously always wanted to come out and say it but because I was so scared of like all the different things that he would say and not just scared but very embarrassed and I know it doesn't have it's not my fault obviously and it's their fault and they should be embarrassed but when you are like violated that way you get very embarrassed very very shame of like you your body you feel like your it's your fault but it's not and it took me a while to you know heal that and I'm so glad that I that I have but I will talk about that in other another episode but just to say um just to talk about um, I don't know what I'm saying just to um kind of I don't know sometimes I don't I, I don't know certain words from to fill in what I'm trying to say or really like um, I don't, I, it's hard for me to find, like, words that, like, kind of, um, help me kind of s say what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I don't know, but anyways, yeah, so that was one thing. So, obviously, healed and unhealed, like, unhealed, like, I had that mindset now that I'm healed. I obviously don't have that mindset, but 
I'm gonna go into how my relationship with my family was before healing this trauma so I'm gonna start with my grandma so ever since I was very very young I just hated my grandma I hated her so much I would tell her really mean things I just I hated her like I hated her and it's I, I hate even saying that but I really did like I'm, t I'm being honest of how I felt and the reason that I hated her now that I've healed I understand where that hate come came from so the reason I hated her so much was because she used to take me to my aunt's house where my abuser lived where he would abuse me and do all those horrible things to me so for me like having to like go there so many times like and her, and just seeing my grandma drive me and drop me off there I just hated her like I was like I fucking hate this lady like why does she drive me to this place like I hate her and my grandma did not know about the abuse my grandma had nothing to do with that my grandma just innocently dropped me off because she had to go to work my mom was working and we thought that we could trust my aunt um and one of the aunt was trustable but the other aunt she was not and i don't know if she knew what was going on but i'm pretty sure she did she was not a good person um but i don't want to get into that because there was a lot of ants in, in the story, but we're just going to focus on the abuser right now. So, in the back, oh, my soggy bear. Um, in the back, oh my god, you see Guardian Angel, they're all here like, we got you. Oh, she's just biting me. But, okay. So, in the back was where, oh, girl, don't bite me. Uh-uh. Okay, so in the back was where my, I don't want to say my, but where, well, the abuser was, you know, and where he would take me to his room and do horrible things to me. So my grandma would drop me off there, and that's why I just, I, I just, I hated my grandma. And now that I'm healed, it's just so crazy how much our relationship changed. And honestly, like my grandma my ugh, i hate saying this but like my abuser he is my grandma's godson so my grandma's sister's son is him it's the abuser you know so i was always so scared to tell my grandma and i remember when i came out and finally told her in 2021 i told her <sighs> i told her like she i remember her like looking at me because she saw me through like the depression she saw me when i was little when i changed a lot she saw when i would just stay locked in my room she would always try to like come in but i'd be like get out and stuff like that and she always knew that there was something up with me and when i finally told her she was like i'm gonna say it in spanish because this was in spanish but she was like mija dime like dime like sal con lo que me tienes que decir like dime lo que me tienes lo que me tienes que decir like quien te hizo daño like por qué eres así and I was like no no te puedo decir no te puedo decir no porque si no me crees te juro que me okay this is true warning like um you know so it's like I was like te juro que me mato me mato si no si no me crees te mato and then I finally came out and told her and I was like Oh, I hate saying his name, but his name, oh, I hate saying it, and it's not because I'm protecting his name, I just hate saying it, like, I hate it. Oh, I don't think I'm ready to say his name, it's just, oh, I hate that name so much, I hate him, I hate everything about that. Oh my, I'm literally ripping my fucking sweater right now. Okay, so I was like, the name, I'm so sorry, I really am not protecting him, I just, I cannot say his name right now, because I feel like I will have a whole panic attack so i'm not gonna say his name so i was like he met you know he like made he like i was like me so like cosas el me like me tocó like el me and then i said like the r word in spanish so basically if you guys don't know what i said because you don't speak spanish basically i told my grandma i was like she was like telling me like 
tell me like tell like tell me who hurt you like what happened like you can like you can talk to me like tell me like just come out with it like tell me what you have to say you know like and then i told her like no because if you don't believe me i swear like i'm gonna like i, I can't even be here anymore you know and then she she was like no like tell me and then i told her like you know who it, who it was that did what he did to me and oh i i, I wasn't even talk about that in this episode but that was that was really hard you know because let me tell you something he didn't just abuse me he abused my whole family and not in the same way that he abused me but he abused their children like that's her godson imagine hearing that her his, her godson our word her gra granddaughter that's fucked up you know and you know same with like my mom like i was so scared to tell her and my relationship with my mom was so awful because it's just really hard and it took me time to heal from it too because her ex-boyfriend also did things to me like awful things to me and <sighs> It's just never going to be easy to talk about this. But it, it's actually... I'm actually okay. So I should just be grateful. But her ex-boyfriend actually did a lot of things to me. And... Um, <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I am going totally blank. So, he did things to me, and I tried to tell my mother that he wasn't a good person, and I tried to tell everybody that he wasn't a good person, and that I hate him, and that he is a big fucking meanie, and they didn't believe me. I'm sorry, this is the only thing that's helping me. <laughs> and they didn't believe me, so I just grew up with a lot of hate for a lot of people but my mother was one of them i had a very short like tolerance for her i like i would get annoyed by that i would just be like oh leave me alone like you never listen to me you never listen to me you never listen to me we used to fight all the time i couldn't stand her and it's really messed up but it's because i was just like oh like i remember after oh i hate saying this fuck i'm sorry i'm feel like my personality is splitting so i am so sorry you guys so i remember oh fuck i hate saying this after he abused me we went to a birthday party i think this no this was actually oh fuck yeah okay so yeah after he abused me we went to a birthday party oh fuck this fuck this fuck this uh oh, fuck this and i remember oh fuck this oh fuck okay i remember just like being so scared because i saw him and my uncle at the same time and they both did things to me so i just was like so scared but the only thing that was helping me was my mother oh this is fucked up the only thing that was helping me with my mother, but because that was her boyfriend, like, I remember he was like, oh, let's, let's leave, like, I don't know where they were gonna go, and I told my mom, no, please, 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 please don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave, no, don't leave with him, please don't leave, and he used to do this thing where he used to wink at me so I can stay quiet and just, like, so he can scare me, like, remember what I did to you, and he would wink at me, and I would get so scared and freeze, and I obviously didn't want to go through that again, so I would just stay quiet. And I remember begging my mom to please not leave. And um, you know, I wanted I wanted to go with her, even though it was with him. But he would tell my mom that he doesn't like kids. He can't be around kids. He hates kids. So that's why he I was never allowed to go with my mom and him. No, I obviously didn't want to go with him. I just wanted to be with my mom because 
she was like a shield to me but he and my uncle were together so then like so then like I can be left alone while my mom's ex-boyfriend both of my mom and then he can you know and I remember telling her please no like he's mean please no and then she, he convinced her like to leave with her so I would just I was just there there was like a porch in the party and I just had like my little dress and I was just looking like so sad like oh there goes my mom leaving with him and now I'm alone with the other me and I think growing up that just made me very upset with my mother but it wasn't her fault and I am so grateful to have healed from that and understand that my mother it wasn't her fault she honestly authentically never thought that this person was gonna do that to her and you want to know the most fucked up part you guys this guy literally asked my mom to marry her like years after the abuse and I don't know why he would do that. I would have to go to church and I would have to go to his house every single Friday and see him and he would still wink and that just sucked and I don't know why in his head he would ask her to marry her knowing what he did to me. I just don't really understand what that is about. I thought today's video was going to be easy, but um, today's video has been the hardest. No, I think the first video has been the hardest, but aren't you guys so proud of me for, like, if you see the first video compared to this video, I'm actually talking. The first video, I barely was able to say anything. Like, literally, like, I watched that video and I was like, I don't even think they are i don't even know i i i was like barely trying to open up but there's gonna be a part two where i really open up and that part two is gonna be no joke i don't know i feel like i need to relax come back i feel like i allowed my little girl to talk right now to tell you guys I'm so sorry if this feels so weird to you guys. I am just... Oof. Okay, so that was my relationship with my grandma because of that. That was my relationship with my mom because of that. Now my aunt, like my aunt, I think at that moment, like I don't know why I was very upset with my aunt, but I hated my aunt too. Like I just, I hated her as in standard. I love my aunt so much right now um, and I don't know I don't really know why I mean I remember we were like everybody in that family was going through so much pain like when I was getting abused um, my mom was just got out of a domestic violence like it was like a really abusive relationship and she was healing from that and my grandma I didn't know but she was suicidal in that time of her life my grandpa was going through things my aunt she was going through a lot of things I don't want to share things about my family because that's not my story to tell but they were all going through really awful things everybody there and my therapist said that nobody wanted to see anybody's pain because then it was then they would have to face their own pain you know so we were all just in a lot of pain at that moment and we were all going through it but we all just kept it like if nothing was happening um you know i think 
the only one that we they really focused on was my aunt because like she was going through it really bad to where it, she was like having a lot of like panic attacks or well not like panic attacks I don't want to like talk about her because that's not my story to say like I said but I don't know if that's why I felt really upset when I was little because I was like does anybody see what's going on with me but honestly I don't think so I, I think my aunt actually saved my life also because she was a great aunt and I don't even want to say that be like I don't even want to say that oh because of that because I, it it sounds like if I was like blaming her or stuff like that and that would never ever be the case you know so even saying that I feel like I don't even know like why I said that and I hope you guys are with me right now because I know I'm barely here <laughs> and like I don't like to make videos twice especially talking about this so I'm gonna try to take a breather and I'm gonna try to relax because I feel like I am going on autopilot and I'm just like zoning out and tell you guys my story but I need to just have faith in God like I always do and just relax so I will talk about this in another video. I will talk about this in the video where I talk about exposing my. Okay. I need to calm down. But okay, I'm gonna talk about this in another video, but I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. My other aunt actually, like, So my other aunt would hang out a lot with my abuser and I don't know if I can say her story. I don't know if I could but basically like they were drinking and you know he started to do things. And my aunt is very brave because she went to go tell right away, but they didn't believe her. And they said, like, that's how cousins play. And my aunt got really upset because she was like, I'm not crazy, you know? But she's like, maybe I was just drunk. Maybe I'm tripping because, like, that's kind of what, like, the family kind of made her believe. Um, and she's really brave because she... I don't know if I can actually share this because it is her story, but no one really knows who I'm talking about. I just hope I don't get in trouble for saying this, but one day she pretended like she was drunk just to see what my, what that, like my uncle would do, the one that did mean stuff to me. Um, and she would like pretend like she was drunk and he tried to like touch her and stuff and she like moved like his hand and she was like sober so she's like i wasn't crazy like i wasn't crazy you know um so when i came out with like my like my truth um like everybody kind of was like oh my god like she was right like he he is like that like he does do things like that and that's what I'm, I'm sharing this because i just want you guys to know that the truth will always come out no matter what and it's like that sometimes people have to go through things that like people don't believe their truth and trust me i have family that kick it with him that don't believe my truth that mock me that have said mean things about me um and honestly i don't gain anything from lying like 
why would I make up that that happened to me like I don't even know how that can even I don't even know how my family like anybody like especially in the family would think that like I don't understand but I'm just like whatever you know I, that's for another day but <sighs> I feel like I'm kind of getting like everywhere and I feel like this I thought this video was gonna go kind of smoothly and I felt like this video was gonna be the easiest one but I guess you never really know but okay moving on um so grandma grandpa grandma mom um you know grandma mom aunt and then my grandpa when I was really little um I remember that I would always hug everyone except him like I just never hugged him I never touched him I was just like you know and I would just be like I don't know I just didn't I guess because I think he was like a guy that's why I was like yeah I'm fuck with you and it was like fucked up because I would really hug everybody and then I would always skip him and I wouldn't care and I would be mean to him like I think I would take out my anger out on him a lot you know so that is my relationship with my family when I was unhealed so I literally pushed all my family away I fought with all my family I would say you know mean things I hated my family and now that I am healed I love my family so much I'm literally gonna hang out with my grandma today I literally hung out with my grandpa two days ago he literally slept over which is crazy I literally sleep over at my grandma's house at least once a month I love to be with my grandma and that's so crazy because I even it took me a long time to even share a bed with anyone because I'm like fuck that so it's so crazy to even say that I literally have sleepovers with my grandma so yeah I am so close to my aunts you know I literally left to New York City with one of my aunts which is insane because I didn't go with my mom and like I said my mom's like my safety blanket my shield but I did that and I had so much fun and then I had so much fun you know like I have so much fun when my aunt comes over I talk to her you know we get along and it's nice you know and she was there with me and she was actually one of the most supportive person. And all my family was supportive when I came out. It was only mostly like the outside family, which I will talk about later on. But oh, sorry, I just feel so so tense. And even like I don't know, it's not easy to talk about. It. Like, I'm not scared because I trust God, you know, but obviously sometimes I'm like, <gasps> but I'm like, you know what, Kim, you're with God, you know, and when you're with God, that's crazy. Like, I'm with God. I'm with God. I love God. So, yes, my truth is here. So, oh, I'm so sorry. I really, out. <laughs> Let me not do that anymore. I'm just not going to do that. So, yeah, um, I feel like this video was all over the place. Um, like, I feel like I kind of want to refilm it, but I'm not going to do that just because I am not going to talk about this all over again. It is not easy. And like I said, real and raw. Oh, shit, for a second. I thought it wasn't recording. I have my mirror here so I can kind of see that it's recording. So, yeah, I think it is recording, but... <sighs> I really, I feel like I want to help you guys more, but I think the purpose of me sharing this is to kind of, you know, inspire people to, like, encourage people to heal this trauma because it affects your life so much and it's fucked up. It takes over your life. And I remember crying in 2021 because I was like, this man, or these men but like especially my uncle robbed me from so much robbed me from experiencing no he did for a while but not anymore he didn't you know like now i took all that back i took everything that he took from me back and i'm so grateful but at that time i felt like he robbed me from my relationship with my family my relationship with food my relationship with love my relationship with life my relationship with myself my relationship with my personality like so much that he took from me but god gave me all that back and i'm so grateful for that and the truth always comes out and i just 
I'm telling you guys this because I encourage you guys to talk about it. I encourage you guys to heal from it. I do have a therapist and I could leave her number down below. But the only thing is that she does only talk and she doesn't only talk in spanish she is learning english and she does i am pretty sure if you tell her that you only speak english she understands english i believe in her and i know that she will give you therapy so good but i just have i just want to like point that out there because i do talk to her in spanish in therapy but honestly it's helped my spanish a lot too you know and i just i love her so much it is so crazy and more episodes down the line you are gonna see how amazing my therapist is like beyond amazing and it is through zoom call because she does live in well i'm not gonna say where she lives but she doesn't live here so yeah you guys um <sighs> it's not through zoom it's through whatsapp whatsapp you know so but you should just download it you just have to put your number and then you can do facetime and it's always amazing and she helped me through this whole journey so i would definitely leave her number down below i feel like i sh i don't know i i feel like this video wasn't enough but it's all i can give you guys right now you know i'm so sorry it's like the first video i'm sorry with all that i can give you right now it's just really hard and revisiting what i just talked about it, i feel like in a way it kind of shut me down a little bit and it was it was very hard for me to obviously talk about and i feel like i just need to i need to like recharge a little bit and i feel like i need to also be kind to myself and be like okay kim i think that's enough also kind to my inner child because i think she's very happy to talk about this you know like i'm very happy to talk about this but it's also a lot for her and a lot for me and she literally had to come up. i don't know it, it, it's crazy when i say it but once you go to therapy and all of that it's easy to understand about your inner child you know because trust me before i went to therapy when people talked about their inner child i don't know why it triggered me a lot and i would be like what are you talking about like like you're the same per i don't know but you know now i do understand and i love her so much and you know i just i'm i'm sorry like i feel like for a second i was kind of like i don't know i don't know how to say things but i will end the video here and i hope this helped in any way um i just have to remind myself that this is all that i could have gave right now and i have to be nice to myself because i feel like I'm being a little mean to myself mentally like girl like how like what was the point you know but I just hope that this helped at least one person so this video is worth it um and my point is to please heal you know please heal please go to therapy because therapy will heal you and when you heal therapy it will open the doors to healing so many other things and trust god pray to god for guidance for a good therapist pray to god you know for you know healing and i'm just i'm gonna talk about the healing process so i got you i'm gonna walk with y'all through everything you know but today this is what i wanted to share and it's all that i could have shared so i'm gonna end the video right here thank you so much for watching i love you guys all so much um get up and I have to get up and press stop record so that I can rest a little so papa puppy I have to put you right here for a second okay So much for watching.